So welcome to Create in 3 Minutes and Promote in 1 Minute. What does that mean? Well, you're going to see uh, in the next approximately 60 minutes. Who this is for? The webinar is for everybody who wants to get some more traffic, some more revenue, some more success, and less work. Now, if anybody doesn't want those things, I'd be surprised, but let me know. Because I think this is what we all want, and there is a way to do it. Now, it's based on software which was developed by Jonathan Leger, and you all know of him. Done a ton of uh, multi-million dollars in sales, developed all kinds of software. And the thing about uh, John that really makes the difference is that he's constantly testing. You'll hear about that as we continue. Uh, it's the testing that makes the difference because when you know what works and you can optimize the workflow, you can do less work for the same results. That's extremely important, as you will see in a few minutes. So I'm Eamon Motin, and I'm here really to get some answers for you. I'm going to do some demos, and anything that John says that um, we need clarification on, I will ask him. We're going to get the good stuff from him today. Of course, we're going to take some live questions, but please, please wait till the end, because uh, we're likely to get a lot of questions, and the panel will scroll very quickly. We'll try to take them as we go along, if we can, if there's a suitable pause, but probably it's going to be at the end, and we're going to throw this open to a question and answer session, and you can ask us anything that relates to what we show you. So, a couple of people saying there's some audio problems. Uh, I'm not sure if that's everybody, just a couple of people, but normally the recording is perfect. So, if there is a problem, Jim, April, it, it may be to do with the web. I know there are some um, problems with DDoS attacks, as they're called, over in the US at the moment. that's causing a lot of problems with internet generally, but if you need to wait for the replay, uh, you know, it may just be one of those things. So I just want to make sure John's there. Hello, John, are you here? I am here. Cool. Well, we've got a huge amount to get through, so what I'm suggesting we do is jump straight into this. So uh, I want to get some, to show some feedback, John. Should we do that straight away, or is there anything you want to say first? The first thing I want to say before we do that is, we have a seriously packed house tonight. I, I'm really surprised. I've never seen so many people get on so early. So that's great. I'm glad everybody's as stoked as we are about all this. So let's let's get into the feedback. Yeah. Well, it's literally unbelievable. What you're going to see is unbelievable. But you're going to have to believe it because it's true. And so when I show you these things, you'll see what I mean. So I'm going to show you a statistic from October 13th, that's this year, to October 19th, uh, so that's seven days. Now have a look at this. So this is a ClickBank account, just one of the many that John has. Now it's a bit small, so I'm going to zoom in for you, so just bear with me. This is just seven days. And you can see the figures here. So let's zoom in for you. So in seven days, $1,653.75 in affiliate commissions, which over the course of a month would come out to about six and a half or $7,000. I know John's done better than that, and I'm going to show you, but even if you only made six and a half or seven thousand dollars a month, I think for most of us that would be pretty decent. And I know for some people, uh, you know, even five hundred or a thousand dollars a month would make a big difference to their lifestyle, pay their mortgage, help kids at college, pay a car loan, whatever. So, next figure is, I mean, this next statistic I'm going to show you is, well, you'll see on the screen it says OMG. In one day, these systems put 621 new subscribers on John's list. There's a total of 21,280 there, but in a single day, 621. And you can see here the day before, it was 544. So that's ramping up. There's a snowball effect. We'll talk about that as well. I'm going to go back to October 13th to October the 19th. That's seven days again. Now, uh, most of you will know about AdSense. This is the Google Affiliate Commission uh, network where when you have adverts from Google on your site, if somebody clicks them, you get a few cents towards, uh, towards your revenue. Have a look at that. Seven days, $4,128.30. But look at the page views, 470495 I mean, these figures are absolutely unbelievable. Are they isolated? That's a good question because it's easy for somebody to show you things that they've done and, you know, an expert can do things faster and quicker and better than other people. But are we seeing feedback from people who've only just started using version 2 of this that 
kind of suggests it's working and working well. Well, let's have a look. We're going to get some user feedback. So Kimberly said, and there's a big smiley face because she's very happy. It's a long piece of, of comment there. So I'm going to read it for you, but you can see what she's saying. Since she started to use Social Multiplier 2, the traffic has skyrocketed. So she opened up a Pinterest account. This is just one. And within a week, her website went from no traffic to about 500 visits a day. Now, she's only done this for a week. And the snowball effect I mentioned earlier, which John will uh, clarify for us shortly, means that the longer you're doing this, the better the results tend to become, the bigger they tend to become, uh, and the faster they can grow. So Kimberly's only been doing this a week, and she's seeing visitors to her site. I can't wait to see what time will bring. The traffic, traffic has gone up every day since the account has picked up stamina. Great product. Thank you very much for that comment, Kimberly. That's user feedback. Now, Joe tells us this, and this is interesting. Six months ago, Joe was ready to stop. He wanted to throw in the towel. He's been trying to rank his sites. In other words, search engine optimization. We've all tried it. It's very difficult. I mean, to get to the point where you want to stop completely because it's so difficult, that's pretty bad. But Joe goes on to say, Social Multiplier 2 has changed his entire outlook. Over the years, he's got dozens of niche sites, never gained any traction, so he's let them expire. He's now re registering, he's, he's uh, building them out, and he's very excited about what's coming up for him. Again, that's user feedback. Uh, Elvis, I'm not sure how we would say his second name, Ponce or Ponce, I'm not quite sure. Um, I think he's um, a Spanish gentleman, or certainly Spanish speaking. Here's what he said, and one point I want to make about this is that uh, English is not his native language, but he's still getting results from the US market by using the same tactics that John has been using. So let's see what he says. Gentlemen, I want to say that this uh, beautiful tool is easy to configure and optimize, and best of all, it's effective to grow traffic and sales. Okay, I'm paraphrasing because uh, the English is not perfect, and, and I apologize if Elvis is on the call. I'm not um, uh, complaining. It's just, you know, it, it's a fact that it's not uh, native English. There's no doubt about the reports of traffic and sales that Jonathan Leger has been sending. With his short time with a single account, so he's only got one Pinterest account, he's seen his pages grow, and he's already beginning to have sales. Now, what some of you may not know is that this was released to uh, previous version owners. Is it a week ago, John, or is it about five days ago? I can't remember. It's not long, is it? Yeah, about five, about five days ago. Five. So already getting sales in five days. He's only just started. So he wants to be very, um, he wants to persevere to sustain a steady income. And he congratulates John for putting in his talents to the service of, I think Nosotros means us, um, the service of all of us, and to uh, give this particularly excellent product to the marketplace. So again, excellent user feedback, and that's from somebody who's only just started and isn't a native English speaker. Now, there's a phrase that you've all heard before, and when you're trying to sell something in a language that's not your first language, it's very difficult, but you know what? They say that a picture is worth a thousand words, and a picture is a universal medium. You put a picture online, and it doesn't matter whether you speak English, German, French, Italian, Chinese, anything. We all look at a picture and we know what it is. We can see a picture of a product, we can see a picture of a puppy, or cats, or kittens, or whatever. We all react to a picture. I think, in, in my case, um, I would say, <laughs> based on what John's statistics are showing, that a picture is actually worth a thousand dollars, not a thousand words. It really is. But a big question is, how was this done? It's, it's great to say uh, this has happened, but how was it done? And we're already getting questions about it. Well, it was done through Pinterest. So Pinterest is a, a, a kind of a social media site. It's not really social media in the traditional sense, but it's a site where you can go and, and put images that you like, and other people will vote for them, like them, link them, repin them, and so on. If you pin these images, you can do it yourself, right? You can do this manually. You can replicate what John did manually. Sure you can. All you have to do is choose an image. Uh, I forgot to put on this slide that you have to write a description. And then you put a link to your website and you pin the image on Pinterest. That's all you have to do. And then you repeat. Nice and simple. 
one image is not going to get you a lot of traffic. A dozen images won't get you much traffic. Hundreds of images and thousands of images, that's what gets you traffic. So this is what you have to do. You have to pin lots and lots of images. Now, even if you think you can pin that many images, cool. What about that? That's over a thousand images, nearly 1,200 images. Can you imagine doing that 24-7? Every day, non-stop, pinning that many images and more to get traffic to your site. Because if you can, good luck. I'll be here waiting for you when you come back with your fingers worn down to the bone and, you know, you've gone grey because of the, the stress of doing it. You just can't do it manually. Now, there is a question that we were asked earlier, which is a great question. Is this a good time to start doing this? Well, the answer is yes, and I'm going to tell you why. There's a couple of reasons. The first is that we're coming into a holiday season where people buy like crazy. People are ready to buy now for the next, well, you know, till the end of the year and then uh, into the first couple of weeks of January. People are going to be buying and spending money they haven't got all over the place. They're going to be buying from somewhere. They might as well buy through your links. But something else has happened today. I got an email from Amazon Associates. Those of you who are already Amazon Associates might have seen this. What Amazon are doing is actually increasing their normal commission rates for the whole of November. So that means you've got a month time, uh, November 1st to November 30th, where they're going to give you 12% using what they call native shopping ads. And I think the normal rate starts at 4% with Amazon. The more you sell, the higher it goes. But you can be looking at three, two, three times the normal commission rate for the same amount of traffic. So it's a great time to start doing this. Really great time. But I'm going to ask again, is it too good to be true? Now I'm going to show you behind the scenes here with something that I sent to John. And this is, you know, I, I had to say it to him because it's like, you know, I'm on the inside, I'm seeing these things. And I really had a big question mark. So this is what I got. Um, I can't even keep up with this, by the way. When we were preparing for this webinar, the statistics were changing so fast that every couple of hours I had to put a new image on and I just could not keep up. So John's uh, told me yesterday, he's updated the sales page with another figure, which is over a million visitors in 19 days. A million visitors plus in 19 days. And I said, I can't keep up with the changes. It is impossible and those numbers can't be real. Now, okay, I know they're real. I've seen them. I know John's accounts and so on. Uh, handle his PayPal account and what have you. But it's almost impossible for me to believe, and I'm seeing them on the inside, so I understand why when people look at this, the wow factor is, are you kidding me? Well, no, we're not. We're really not. So, as you can see there, a million plus in 19 days. So I'm going to ask the question again, is it too good to be true? Let me tell you about my personal experience. Because John said this, this, and this, and I decided I was going to test. So about 10 days ago, I started trying this. So I took a brand new site, brand new domain, never been registered, never had any traffic, no links, no nothing. And this is what I got with a very, very slow pinning account. Now I say slow because I'm very conservative by nature. I wanted to take it steady so I can learn the best way to do it. John's gonna tell us some of the best ways later, but I took this really slow. And in fact, for the first three days, I pinned 30 images per day. Now, you can do that by hand, actually. 30 images is nothing, right? 8th of October, you see, that's the uh, first visit to the 21st, so that's 13 days, 1,136 unique visitors. This is a completely brand new site, and the only kind of promotion that I'm doing is through Pinterest by using Social Multiplier. That's actually quite a lot of visitors in 13 days. It's not as many as the one point odd million that John's done, but he's been doing it longer than me, and I'm being very conservative. But if you look at these numbers here as well, I'm getting people who are looking at more than one page on my site, which means they're sticking around, and that's a good thing. It's a very good thing. So that's a, oops, where's it gone? Just bear with me. My screen's disappeared, so. There we go. So it's a brand new site, right? And there's the numbers, 1,136 zoomed in so you can see them. That's cool, 
But let's have a look at the breakdown. Now, if you look at the numbers here, you see the 8th of October, four visitors. Well, or four visits, that was uh, me. The 9th, because I'd started pinning 19, then 33, 84 visits, 99. Look at what we've got, 318, 383, and then it slowed down here. And that's because I turned the pinning off to start pinning on different sites because I wanted to test a few different things. The next thing I want to tell you is I, I find this almost impossible to believe myself. Right? This is another of my sites and it was de-indexed by Google. If you don't know what that means, it means that Google kind of kicked me out. I'm not in the search engines. Now, uh, I'm not going to tell you the site because there is AdSense on that site and I don't want people going and clicking and getting me taken out of AdSense. But I'm going to show you the figures. This is a site that Google has de-indexed and kind of disowned and, you know, they don't like it. 1,382 visitors since the 8th of October. Well, that's not bad, is it? And again, a couple of pages per visit. Let's have a look at the breakdown. 8th of October, 1, 9th, none. And then can you see how it's growing? 153, 173, 169, 207, 316, 458. Right? So far today, when I did this, uh, I took this uh, slide earlier today, 95 visitors, but yesterday was 301. Now, the interesting thing about this particular de-indexed site is that I turned uh, AdSense on about midnight last night, <laughs> and it's already making me money from Google AdSense, and it's de-indexed by Google. The only people who are coming to that site are coming from Pinterest through my very conservative social multiplier pinning. And when I say conservative, and, sorry, go ahead. Let me let me interject something here because I want people to understand yeah. uh, why it works the way it works. Why the traffic grows the way it grows. Uh, because imagine that you're fishing and you put one fishing line in the water. Oh, yeah. Now, you might catch a fish, you might not. You know, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. If you've ever been fishing, you know, it's a very hit or miss thing, especially if you're like me and you have no skill. But if there's five people on the boat, you've got a much better chance of somebody catching a fish. Now, imagine you could put five people on the boat every day and keep adding people every day. And all their lines are thrown into the water. Every day you're adding more and more and more fishing lines into the water. What are the odds that you're going to catch a good number of fish that those odds keep going up every day. Well, that's how Pinterest works because every day that you pin and add more images, that's more opportunities to catch a sale or catch a click on an advertisement. So every day you're expanding the number of lines you're throwing out there to catch, if you will, the users of Pinterest so that they might see your pins rather than somebody else's. So it's really a numbers game. Yeah. And that's why all the users of Social Multiplier 2, they really start, I mean, they see results pretty quick right away. I mean, you had the one example from Kimberly. In seven days, she's getting 500 visitors. That's awesome. Yep. But imagine what's going to happen after 30 days if you're pinning a couple hundred times a day, 60 days, 90 days. That's where those numbers that you showed at the beginning, my numbers, that's where they're coming from, from the fact that there are just so many pins out there because of the software going and pinning day after day after day in a way that a human just could not. Yeah. So I just want to emphasize that, that that makes Pinterest so different from any other traffic source. Even Google. Google's limited. There's only so many people that do the search at a time. And if you're not in that top ten or really in the top five, of page one, you can pretty much forget getting any kind of traffic from it. Yeah. But with Pinterest, you're casting those lines all over that network, and it really increases the odds that you're going to get a hit. And that's where the success is coming from. Now, I'm not a sportsman, so fishing leaves me cold. I'm going to uh, see your analogy and raise you one. Okay? So to mm -hmm. me, if I have a little cafe where I sell coffee and, and cake and so on, and I get some flyers printed to get traffic to my site. And I go and hand out five flyers. I'll get a small number of people coming. If I hand out 5,000 flyers, I'm going to get more people coming. If I hand out 50,000 flyers, 
where those people are congregating, I'm going to get more because it's simply, as you said, a numbers game. So that numbers game relates to that image of the yellow pin things that I show where the, the sheer number of pins becomes um, impossible for a person to manage at that level. And that's why automation makes it possible to do something that generates massive traffic, which you can't do, you simply cannot do it physically, manually. It's as simple as that. Um, so, you know, these numbers, are, I mean, look, this is a de-indexed site. I was asked by somebody, why was it de-indexed? A long time ago, I did a ton of spammy link building on it, and Google hated it, and they de-indexed it, and that was it. And that's been dead for a long time. But it's on auto renew. I had some content on there. I've left it. And I thought, well, I'm going to test it with this because I've got nothing to lose. And actually, I've got traffic and it's building, as you can see. Um, I finally took the plunge to put AdSense on it uh, late last night. And it's starting to make some money. Not like the big numbers John has, but I've only just started. And of course, as I grow that, we'll have that snowball effect and that, that amplification factor that John was mentioning there. So, um, on a de-index site, in other words, disapproved by Google, they don't like it, they're not putting me in the search engines, I'm getting traffic without Google, I'm not even on page 10 or 20, I'm not even in the search index. I don't need to rely on Google to get traffic, I've got traffic from another traffic source, and it's coming and starting to earn me a little bit of money. Next thing I've got to do... All right, I've got to, inter I got to interject again. Yeah, please. Because very important about Google. Everybody thinks that Google is the holy grail. Yes. And while I get that because Google's so huge, Pinterest is so much easier and in my opinion in many markets better and here's why. We have an account and Amy's going to show everybody this account later that is built around woodworking and all kinds of woodworking pens and drives people to a woodworking site. Now if I recall correctly Google estimates about 27,000 people a month search for the terms woodworking. Yeah. 27,000, which means if you're number one, you will get a portion of that. Most studies show maybe about 30, 35%. So you're going to get maybe, maybe 10,000 visitors a month, even if you have a number one ranking for woodworking. This site, from Pinterest alone, is getting almost 300,000 visitors a month. Now you can imagine the revenue that comes off of that. So compare, and oh, and this site hardly has any backlinks at all because Pinterest doesn't care about links. They're not about links. They don't care about that. It's a social site. It, what they care about is who likes the pictures that you're pinning. That's all they care about. So compare Google's little 10,000 maybe, if you can get to number one and hold the position, to almost 300,000 visitors a month to one site about woodworking. So just think about that for a minute if you're fighting to rank in Google right now. Maybe Pinterest is where you need to be looking. Go where the traffic is. That's working smarter, not harder. John, we've got a couple of questions which I think we probably should pause to take at this point because they're really important questions. Uh, so I'm going to ask them, and if you'd answer them, I'd be grateful. A couple of people are asking essentially the same question in different ways, which is, can you get shut down by Pinterest for pinning too often? And I know you're going to give us a, a lot of um, information about that later, but if you could just give a sort of a, a summary answer on that one. Well, the short version is that in all my testing over the last year, year and a half, I've never had an account closed or what Pinterest calls suspended for the number of times a day that I pin. I've never seen that happen. What Pinterest does not like is you sending people to very low quality sites. That's, that's a big one. You do not want to pin to low quality sites. They have rules about not redirecting visitors. Like if you send them to a page that instantly redirects them somewhere else, they don't like that. Or if uh, the pins that you pin are very spammy, like you do not want to have pins that have a call to action, make $10 million today, click here right now, you're immediately going to get 
suspended for that. And anything, anything, anything that uses the words make money, I guarantee you, you're going to get suspended for no matter how legitimate what it is that your offering is. What you want to do with Pinterest is post awesome, visually stunning pins that have a good description with no call to action at all and just let people either click on that image or click on the visit button that Pinterest puts and go to your site because they will come to your site in droves. You don't have to worry about that. You don't have to try to force people to go to your site by giving a call to action. I know that goes against every marketer's bone out there, but Pinterest doesn't like you pushing your marketing like that. So you're better off just giving that informational description and letting the traffic flow naturally and it will flow when you're posting or pinning a hundred or two hundred times a day or whatever you're going to get people clicking through it's a numbers game it's going to happen that's why we automate and we're seeing that on screen right now showing you the the revenue which i think most people would be very happy about and uh you know that's only a small portion of the revenue during that period so the power of the number of pins is what gives this entire thing the efficiency and the results but the problem with that is you can't do it manually because nobody can sit and pin 24 hours a day you know you have to live don't you and that's why automation makes the difference uh, in fact the tool itself called social multiplier when i first uh, saw this when john sent it over to me i actually emailed him back and said this is boringly simple and I meant it because there's not much to look at and there's not much to do. In fact, earlier today, I created a little video that we'll be putting on the sales page where I've set up the accounts uh, and a pinning job and a follow job in, in under a minute. It's very quick. If you have your passwords to hand, of course, uh, and it's extremely quick. Very simple. And actually, the software is very boring. I, I, you know, there's not, you just leave it running and forget about it. So that's nice and simple. So... John is going to tell you later how we can get good pins and good descriptions because that's, again, an important thing. And we've got a whole bunch of questions at the end uh, that he's going to answer about the best ways to do things and so on. Now, there's a couple of versions of Social Multiplier that are available. And one of them, which is the, the lifetime license, we're going to give you some uh, bonuses that allow you to build affiliate sites in minutes and then promote them in minutes. And we're going to do that live to show you how quick that is, because when you see it, you'll realize that anybody can do this and do it without having to sit and spend hours. Because I'm, I'm just the same as you, you know, really. I don't like spending hours creating a web page and struggling with all the technical things and so on. Uh, I've got other things I like to do. If I can find a solution that makes life easier, I'm more likely to do that and then get some results because if you don't do anything you don't get results if you can do something simply and you're more likely to keep doing it then you're more likely to get those results pretty obvious and common sense right so I think what we would do um, and at this point I just ask the question do you think it's still too good to be true because these numbers are all genuine and they're uh, created by building up steady and, and slowly and safely and we've got a Dozens of questions about how do we do this safely. John's going to go into that in some detail in a few minutes. So I want to give you a demo of some... I've <laughs> uh, got a couple of questions I've got to ask you later, John. Um, I want to give you a demo of something that I think is pretty impressive. I've got a blog here. It's just a demo blog. Look, there's nothing on it. That's very impressive, isn't it? And I'm going to show you. No posts. No pages. Sorry, were you saying something, John? No. Oh, sorry, I, th I thought I heard some noise. So this is great. I've got nothing on that blog. And if anybody wants to go see it, you can see the website there, websitefordemos.com slash dem. Uh, sorry, forward slash dem. So there's nothing there. It's, it's just for testing. It's not a real blog. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm just showing it to you to test. And we have this thing called, it's now called Social Monetize Me. I've changed the name because it's actually, that's what it does. It's using social. And we've got a few options. But this one is the one that I particularly like. So, John, would you give me... Um... Well, you, were, you were so low-key, and I love that about you. Your plug-in is awesome. <laughs> I, use, I use this all the time now. If you've ever built 
Amazon pages by hand, you are going to love what Amos about to show you. Because when he sent me a little video, I was like, are you kidding me? Where have you been hiding this? I didn't know you had this. So he sent it to me, and now I use this all the time. Just watch what he does. It's really awesome. Now, I'm heavily into photography. Uh, I like Nikon cameras. I know you call them Nikon in the U.S., but, you know. Um, so I'm going to put the keyword there, and I'm going to choose, uh, let's have a look. I think it's electronics, is it, for cameras? And you can see how it builds up for me. These are Amazon categories, by the way. So I can scroll down to any of these categories, you see, and, and be as, as precise as I want to be. Uh, and this is coming directly from Amazon. And I want to create, oh, I don't know, should we do 100 pages of promotional affiliate pages that link to Amazon? And I'm going to look at, uh, should we say, products between $500 and $2,000? How long will it take you to create 100 pages with an image and a description of each of these cameras? Anybody have a guess? Let's have a look. I'm going to click Search Amazon, and we're going to see how long that takes. So what it's doing now is speaking to Amazon and finding items that uh, relate to these specific keywords, Nikon or Nikon. And when it does that, it will show me what it's found and got back from Amazon. Now, the speed of this depends on the speed of your website, but you can see it's got a whole bunch of stuff here now. and there they are, lots of them. So let's click that. Now I'm going to create 100 pages and I want you to, uh, has anybody got a stopwatch or a second hand on their watch? Because I would like to know how long this takes. So when I uh, click this button, somebody please have a look at your stopwatch or your, your second hand and tell me how long it takes. And I'm going to say go. So go. So that's actually doing the work for me now. Uh, I think April is actually timing, which is great. And it's going to do 100 pages with images and with uh, affiliate links, my affiliate link to Amazon. And if anybody's in the market for a digital uh, camera, please go click on this. I'd be delighted to take commission. So uh, pages or posts, Mark is asking, whichever you prefer. It's created 89 pages. How long, April? How, how long did that take? Somebody was uh, checking the time for me. I think 25 seconds. Thanks very much. OK, I'm just going to move this out of the way for a second. Cool. I'll tell you what that is later. So let's have a look at those pages that I created, shall we? They're all there. Let's have a look at one. There we go. There's a nice product, $790. And you can see all the other pages listed. I've got 89 pages in 25 seconds. Now, let's go back. Let me be lazy. Let's say I now want to sell Canon. Well, it's still camera and photo, digital cameras. Uh, let's say we want to do just the expensive ones. And I'm going to be lazy now. John, this is one of the things that's new that you haven't seen before. OK? Oh, <laughs> no, I've time... not seen that. No, last time I had to go in and have a look and click on the buttons to say create the pages and so on. It gave me a bunch of results. This is new. Watch this. Uh, April, can you time for me again, please? I'll say go. Uh, I'll say go if you would, April. Go. So what that's doing now, John, is finding links on Amazon that are related to my search, which was Canon, for these categories, and it's creating the pages immediately for me. Oh, that's great. That's great, Eamon. I'm glad you did that because that really helps less, me a lot. Less work. Now, I'm, I'm all for less work, right? So it's going to take uh, you know, a few seconds because it depends on how many results there are and it depends on how fast it is to Amazon. We have that big network attack on the east coast of the US at the moment. I know that's slowing things down. Um, but lots of people saying that's amazing. You haven't seen anything yet. So uh, this is actually creating all those pages for me and it's done. 90 pages. 90 new pages have been created. How long was that, April? 44 seconds. Plus the 25, that's 69 seconds, one minute, nine seconds, and I've got uh, 179 pages on my website. Let me refresh the page. I'm now promoting some fairly expensive items here, Nikon, Nikon, and then Canon. Oh, look, Canon. Nice image, and if we want to read more, it's going to take me to Amazon. That is actually cooked with my affiliate link. 
done. And I've got 179 pages. Now, if I go back... I just want everyone to know that I wasn't using Amazon a whole lot until uh, Eamon told me about this plugin that he was holding out on me. And my Amazon income is going up by the day <laughs> because of this plugin. I was relying on AdSense and ClickBank only before, but I'm hardcore into Amazon now, so I'm growing that big time. Now, there's something else that's new, which again I haven't shown you, John. We've said do a you know have a quality site, have some content on that site. You, we want a quality site so that we can be safe with Pinterest. So. Affiliate links are fine. That's great. People are interested in them. A bit of content in there would be good, wouldn't it? You know, maybe an article in this example, how to take good flash portraits. And you can get PLR to do that. I'll talk about PLR in a little bit. You can create a bunch of pages that have all kinds of good, good keywords in there. So let's just have a look. Uh, I'm going to do some more pages, but I'm only going to do mm, 10. So let me just do three thousand to five thousand dollars this time for Canon, uh, and I'm going to do ten pages. So I'm going to do the search Amazon because I want to show you one of the new features. And again, John, this is uh, none from there. Maybe it's the uh, price tag. Let's have a look. Two hundred to five hundred. Yeah. Um, and it will exclude duplicates, by the way. So I've got 10 there. Yeah, I've got some du duplicates. So let me change to Fuji, just to give you an example. Search Amazon. And this, again, John, is new, so you haven't seen it before. Now, I can add some spin text in here, which means I can have a unique... If you don't know what spin text is, don't worry. But we'll tell you that another time. I can make each of those pages unique very easily. And I can do something else. Okay. You see that little button there, that checkbox? I've just checked it. And then I click here. And then create the pages. Now what that's going to do is create all those pages for me. Eight pages created. Let me show you them. And it's done something else as well. So if I do these by date published, Fujifilm, there we go. Let's have a look at Fuji. They're quite good cameras. Not as good as Nikon and Canon, but, you know, still $460. Be nice to get a commission on that. What that little box did, John, is create automatic text-based pop-up ads that are affiliate enabled for the specific keyword that I entered. Now that's a mouthful to say. Let me explain that to everybody. I'm going to add a new post and I'm going to talk about uh, the X2 Pro, which is a Fuji camera. If you like Fuji cameras, ooh, I can't spell. You forgive me for that. There are some new ones that are coming to market. Now what I want you to do, you've got to pretend that I put a full article there. Can you can you allow me to finish there and pretend that's a full article? And I'm going to show you this post. Now the post itself, which I'll show in a second, is a new post. I haven't touched it for an affiliate link, have I? That's cool. It could be an old post that already exists. It doesn't matter. Because what I'm about to show you will work on every existing post you have on your blog already and every future post you ever make. Watch this. Can you see how the word Fuji is highlighted? I see it. Oh, that's cool. And that's automatic. Awesome. And that will take That's going to help me a lot on some of the sites I've already built. Now... This might have uh, gone past people very quickly, but let me explain what it means. Anywhere that you have that keyword, in my case, I put Fuji as an example. You can put what you like. You can put weight loss. You can put diet plan. You can put uh, fine jewelry. It doesn't matter. Whatever your niche is. Anywhere on your posts and pages, old and new, it will automatically monetize that link with the hover ad. You don't have to touch that again. Any time you write a new post about Fuji, your post will be automatically monetized for you. Don't touch it. It does it for you.
Peter's saying he just fell off his chair. I'm getting a dozen wows there. Thank you. That was what I was hoping for. <laughs> John, I want to give you this um, here just to uh, uh, it's a link to the blog. Would you do me a favor and just go make a comment in there to, saying that you bought the Fu Fuji camera and uh, you think they're pretty good? Uh, thank you, everybody. There's tons of comments about this, and, and one person saying they don't quite get it. But um, which hub, which part don't you get? I'll explain it if I can. So while John's going to make the comment, and I'm going to have to uh, go here to the comments to approve it, of course, um, which well, as soon as he's done that. So John, you're putting in, I bought a Fuji camera last week, and and you know, I'm All right. pleased that did something like that. Uh, all right. I'm working on it. And this is another new thing that I want to show you, John, because this is, again, one of those surprises I kept for you. Oh, Ted, you're a smart cookie. Can you spin one? Yes, you can, Ted. Uh, that's coming next week, but yes, you can. Ted's just asked a great question. Uh, Scott's asked the same question. No, we have a feature that will allow you to have that. Okay. It's oh, you've done that. Excellent. Thanks. That was quick. Um, John can type 130 faster. words a minute, my friend. 130 words a minute. What? Everybody? Oh, <laughs> hang on now. That's great. Thank you, everybody. So I'm going to approve everybody. Oh, hey. Now, have a look at this. Let me just refresh the page. So you saw what happened before, didn't you? Okay. Um, I think somebody's not going to the right uh, link for the page, but anyway. How would it be if you had a a, a site with actual content where people make some comments on your blog if you could have the comments monetize themselves let's have a look if that's possible shall we so pot pie girl is getting a Fuji camera oh look and it's doing random by the way so you know and it is doing oh Ernesto he loves the Fuji now so somebody is asking can you randomize these better. yes you can uh, One of these days, I mean, Jennifer is going to have to explain where the pot pie girl thing comes from. Yeah, yeah. oh, that goes back a long way, doesn't it? Um, Pentax, so, right, wow, snorted my drink, oh my gosh, wow, lol, yeah, okay. <laughs> I like that, I snorted my drink. Yeah. So what I'm saying to you is that at the point you let this system create your Amazon pages, it can create contextual affiliate links it's a fancy term it just means this thing right automatically for every piece of existing content you have every future piece of content and your comments now if you can find anything that does that out there I'd be surprised and does it that quickly now the other thing it does, and I, have, I have to say I mean I gotta say this the numbers game that you play with Pinterest the more pins you get, the more visitors you get to your site, but then you also play a numbers game on your site. You want to get as many people to click on that ad, whether it's AdSense or the Amazon link or your ClickBank link or whatever, as possible. So the more places, the more opportunities they have to do that, the better. And I love Monetize Me, especially what you just added, because it lets me create content and not worry about the ads because Monetize Me is automatically going to put the ads on the pages, and that's really great. That saves a lot of time, and it helps me play that numbers game, give people more opportunities to click and to buy so that I get my commission. Well, I've got another thing to show you, because we're talking about monetization. So let me just show you this. I'm going to create an image link. Now, if you're putting content on, so we're moving away from Amazon for a moment, everybody, if you bear with me, please. If you have content on there that you want to monetize contextually you can do it with image links text links as well as all the Amazon stuff automatically you can do it separately as well so I'm going to put a Clickbank affiliate link on here so I'm going to create an image link so the keyword is going to be uh, DSLR okay that's just you know a, a particular phrase that people who like cameras would understand so for my particular niche it would make sense the money link that's a, an actual Clickbank link that I got earlier and then uh, I've got a, an image for a particular video-based training course that a fairly well-known American guy, a New York guy, sells uh, on ClickBank. I put the image. That's the image. Okay. Uh, opening a new window or tab. So that didn't take me long, did it? I've just put 
my keyword, the money link, which, you know, when you've got an affiliate link, you know how, how to get your own links, don't you? Uh, and I've put the image of the product. If I click add image link, nothing's going to show here because I don't have the word DSLR, do I? Watch what happens if I put some uh, extra content in here. I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger for the sake of argument. So if you have a DSLR camera and want some extra stuff. OK. Now remember, this, what I've just done, will monetize every existing post and every future post that has that keyword in it. Uh, let me show you what it looks like. Oh, wrong one, sorry. Let me show you the actual post itself. Boom! We've got a... <laughs> yeah? And I've still got Fuji in there. And I can specify how many times and where this appears. So I can put ClickBank or Amazon or any other kind of affiliate network in there as an image link, a text link, a hover ad, an Amazon page, and so on. And that's not even the best part. Let me show you something we can do with those Amazon pages. Now, I've got a, a clean copy of Social Multiplier here, which I haven't actually installed any accounts in, but I'll, I'll show you what we do. Um, and because of the way, you know, I don't want to show the logins and so on for security. So I'm, I'm going to have to simulate something here. I've got 180 odd pages of Amazon products and I need to promote them in Pinterest. So now it's going to take me hours and hours to go into Pinterest and pin each of those pages, right? Wrong. What I'm going to do is add a new job, a pinning job, and we select an account. I haven't got an account set up because I don't want to show my passwords and so on. Okay, but I'm going to use my own custom images. I'm going to load images. Let's drag this over so you can see from a file that I downloaded when I created the pages. I did it really quickly on purpose so you couldn't see what I was doing, but when it creates Amazon pages, it also gives you a special file in a special format that goes directly into Social Multiplier to promote those pages for you. Now, whether it's 100 pages or you do 10 lots of 100 pages, doesn't matter to Social Multiplier, doesn't matter to Monetize Me. So let's choose the file, and it was, uh, oh, we've got a lot of stuff here, as you can see. Uh, exported pages, exported pages, there we go. So can you see all these? Uh, I've, I've actually picked the wrong file. That's jewelry, by the way, but um, let me choose another one. It was must be exported pages one, that one. No, which one's much? What? I didn't even look at the file name. Isn't that terrible? <laughs> You got, you got too many files. Okay, it doesn't really matter, but there we go. But I mean, it's still showing you 100 items. And we just have a little quick thing to do here where you just click 1, 2, and 3. Okay. Now, when we update that, what was that? 20 seconds? This has now configured Social Multiplier for you to promote those pages on your website, on your website, right? So it's going direct to you. 200 times a day in this case, or if you've got an established account, 500 times a day, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Now, if I'd actually added my real Pinterest account, you'd have seen it, but <laughs> pretend I've done that. I click that button here and Social Multiplier is ready to go. So when we said you can promote in under a minute, you really can promote hundreds of pages in under one minute. Let me just show you. I, I just want to tell people. I just want to tell people, Eamon, that Eamon made a video that's going to be on the sales page on Monday that actually shows him step by step adding a Pinterest account, adding a pin job, and adding a follow job in less than a minute. Yeah. So I've seen this video. It's real. It really does go that quickly. If you already have your passwords ready, it's really that fast. It's that simple. Yeah, I, I use really, really difficult passwords, so I don't remember them. So I actually had to put it in a notepad, to be fair. So that's how I managed to do it in 54 seconds. Actually, technically, 53 seconds, 0.79. Um, but, you know, if you don't know your password and you have to look it up, it's going to take longer, but that's you checking your password, right? Uh, if you know your password and you just type it in, under one minute to set up the account, set up following, we'll explain following later, and pinning. 
I just want to go back to create Amazon pages because I want to show you the little trick I did. So let's do uh, what's another make of camera hmm, Sony. So uh, yeah, and I'm just going to do 10 again. Now you notice it's remembered what I'm working on. On a particular niche site, you're probably going to be doing lots of, of the same thing, DSLR cameras. You might just change your keyword. So I'm going to search Amazon so you can see, and I'm using the slow method here, okay? So I can have a page or a post. I can make a text link if I want. I can have static or dynamic. I can have a hover ad. Now the hover ad is that thing I showed you where it um, does that. You don't have to have them if you don't want them, but if you want them, you know, a little checkbox there will save you all the time. I can use the product image as a featured image for my post. If you've got a nice theme, that makes it look fantastic. I'm going to put read more there instead of add to cart, okay? And then uh, I'm going to just check everything here. And I'm keeping it published, but if you wanted to be careful and put it to draft, you can do that's you know, your choice. I can also schedule these or schedule these so that they drip out over a period of time. If I've got 100 pages and I want them to drip out every 12 hours, there we go. You don't have to put them all immediately if you don't want to. I'm going to do this for demo for you, but you don't have to. Now, when I create the pages, uh, it's, it's going to be very quick, right? And I want you to watch the top of the screen. Can you see this thing here? What it's doing is giving me the file with all those pages, all the images, and all the links that I need in the special format that we put into Social Multiplier. And we do this, check that, click here, oops, it's on the wrong monitor, I've got multiple monitors. Choose the file, and you're good to go. And it's literally 15 seconds. Now, in this particular case, it's only 8 pages, but you saw earlier I did 90 pages. Uh, if I wanted to, I can take that keyword out. Let's put uh, 100 results, say, and we'll go to 5,000. Uh, if you wanted to, you can also say, if I've already got a page with a product in, I'm happy to have duplicates. So let's just do that search. You'll see a bigger number this time. And that download file, 15 seconds to get it into Social Multiplier, hit the Go button, and Social Multiplier is, mo is promoting your website, which has your affiliate links that fast. So you can create 100 items. That was, what, 20 seconds? You download the file, 10 seconds. Put it into Social Multiplier, 15 seconds. That's 45 seconds to promote 100 pages on your website. I don't think you're going to get any faster than that with this knockout combo of these two things. Okay. By the way, we've got a million questions, John, so that it's scrolling so fast. Um, yeah, I see. I mean, we, <laughs> so we're going to get to your questions, please. Please, you know, we will. Um, that's what I call unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, thanks, April. There's, there's even more which we haven't shown you. But for those of you who get this bonus, and it will only be available to people who buy the lifetime social multiplier, we're going to do two other things. Uh, and I didn't mention this to John. I'm actually going to give you a webinar on how to use PLR unedited to create your pages and build them out and add a bit more depth to your site. Remember, we're not worried too much about Google, so you don't have to have absolutely perfect content if you buy good quality PLR. Uh, and in fact, John mentioned one of the sites uh, earlier, which we'll, we'll talk about, Wood Designer. Uh, sorry, back, Backyard Gardening, which gets nearly 30,000, 24,000 uh, visitors in the last month. And that's pretty much PLR. So you can build out a site. And remember, the content can be automatically monetized for you with those keywords. So if you get somebody landing on your site and then clicking on one of the pieces of content instead of the affiliate link, you're getting a second bite of the cherry to get them clicking on an affiliate link on that new page. And it is done automatically. I mean, you cannot get lazier than this. Honestly, well, efficient, really, not lazy. You know what I mean. Uh, and I love efficiency, as does John. But, John, I want to ask, before we go to questions, I want to ask you a couple of questions that may answer some of the concerns people have. I want to know what the danger traps are, you know, what, what, what could we do wrong? I know there are some, right? Uh, I know they're there for a fact. I want you to explain to us what are the danger traps and really what should we avoid doing to be safe and what should we emphasize doing 
to be effective. Can you give us uh, some answers on that? Because I know we've run over, we're running over time as usual. Big, big surprise, right? Yeah, as usual. Well, there's, there's just so much to go over. Uh, but first, I want to say, for anyone who wonders whether or not a PLR site is really going to work, I actually have one. It's on gardening. 99 out of the 100 posts on the site are all PLR. Only the home page is actually a unique article. And it got 23,000 visitors in the last 30 days. And I'm ramping it up. That's from one Pinterest account, just one. So I'm at, I just added another one today, and I hope to really get that up because it, gets, it really does make a lot of money per visitor. It's got a good, what AdSense calls RPM, or revenue per 1,000 visitors. I'll show you the site, so, yeah, actually. PLR definitely works. Yeah, show the site. And you'll see, I mean, it's not, like, fantastic, uh, but it's a great little site. It gets plenty of opt-ins, lots of clicks on the ads. There's a lot of things I could do to make it better that I'm not doing, and yet it's still profitable. Because when you get that many visitors, unless you just don't put any ads on it at all, you're going to make at least some money. And so with 23,000 visitors a month and growing, this site's definitely doing well. Now as to Pinterest and what they're looking for, there's a few things that you need to know. First of all, you have got to use business accounts because the terms of service for Pinterest do not let you advertise your businesses in a personal accounts. So you want to create business accounts. And I say accounts plural because if you have multiple websites, my personal experience is you're better off creating one account per site. And Pinterest allows that. It actually says in their help that if you uh, run, if you hit up against their limits, because you can only have, be following 50,000 people, you can only pin, I forget how many hundreds of thousands of pins or whatever. When you hit their limits, they tell you create another account. So you can have multiple accounts. Keep in mind, I'm not an attorney, blah, 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 so this is not legal advice. But from what I understand, you can have multiple accounts. I've never had a problem having multiple accounts, but they have to be business accounts. Now, I personally use proxies for each account, so each account doesn't look like it's coming from the same place. I mean, I literally have dozens of accounts for, dozens of, for about a dozen websites. So, just to be safe, I don't want it to look like all of those sites are being run out of the same house, if you will, the same location. Uh, so I use proxies. But if you don't know what that is or understand how that works, don't worry about it. It's all covered in the Getting Started Guide that comes to Social Multiplier. makes it very clear and easy to understand. You want the site that you promote to be very high quality, very high quality, because Pinterest uses a lot of manual reviewers, human beings who go and look at the sites. If someone reports your site as spammy because they're in a bad mood, they didn't drink their coffee that morning, whatever, Pinterest is going to send somebody sometimes to go actually look at your site. And if they look at your site and it's real low quality, you know, you, you know what I'm talking about. We used to refer to them as MFA sites made for AdSense. They're kind of junky. It's just a bunch of links and low quality content. Pinterest is probably going to block that site. And if they block the site, you can't pin to it anymore. And that's no good for you. So make sure your site's high quality. And that's so easy to do these days with WordPress, a nice theme, you know, focus on your content, make sure you have some good content on there. It's not hard to do. It doesn't take a long time. So don't be lazy in that regard. Besides, the visitors you get from Pinterest, when they see a high quality site, they're much more inclined to trust you and whatever it is that you're selling. And I can tell you from experience, I mean, Eamon showed you the numbers. In the last 30 days, 30 days now, I have had about a million and a half visitors and netted about $16,000 in passive income from Pinterest alone. That's just from my Pinterest traffic because the dozen sites I'm promoting are all high quality sites. They weren't terribly expensive to build. They just use a nice WordPress theme to have a nice header graphic. I mean, seriously, the backyard gardening site doesn't look nearly as good as the, the ones that I am building. But that's what you want. You want a nice high quality website so that Pinterest, when they look at your site, they're like, this is a nice site, and they don't block it. Lots of people have asked, and I've seen this question over and over again in the questions, 
how many times can you pin? Well, I personally never pin less than 200 times a day. Now, Eamon's very conservative. He's only pinning 30, 50 times a day, whatever. But me, it's easy for me to set up a new account, so I have no problems pinning minimum 200 times a day. Once the account is very established, I move it up and up and up till it hits about 500 times a day, and I leave it at that. But the reason I leave it at 500 times a day is because if you go too far over that, people start unfollowing your account. And you don't want that. You don't want people unfollowing your account because it's those followers that give you that targeted audience that you want. Plus, the more followers you have, the more likely Pinterest is to put your pins in the search results as someone's searching for keywords that match your pins. So you want a lot of followers. And if you pin too many times a day, you're going to lose your followers and you're not going to get as much of that search traffic. Now the great thing about Social Multiplier 2 is it knows, it has built in already, it will not let you follow more people than Pinterest allows. So even if you put follow 10,000 people a day, it's not going to do that. It's only going to let you follow as many people as Pinterest allows you to follow. And that maximizes your ability to get followers because the more people you follow, the more people will follow you back. Some people worry about, well, is it all right to pin other people's pins and descriptions and images? I mean, is that okay? Isn't that a copyright issue? Again, I'm not an attorney, so this is not legal advice, et cetera, et cetera, disclaimer, disclaimer. But here's, let's think about this. The reality is that Pinterest is very much in violation of all kinds of copyright. But the businesses who own the images don't care because it's very, very good for their branding to have their images all over the, all over the place. There's a few exceptions, like photographers and people who make money off of their images. But if you're not in those markets, it generally isn't a problem. And if you're using a plugin like Amon's that pulls all the images from Amazon, and you're an Amazon affiliate, well, Amazon gives you the rights to use all their images. So that's not an issue either. And the pen descriptions are pulled from Amazon, also not an issue either. So that all, all of those things the software is designed to deal with. But of course, there is a possibility that the software might pin an image that someone didn't have the right to pin. I mean, the software has no way of knowing whether or not that image you know, was pinned illegally or improperly. And Pinterest might send you an email saying, hey, we had to delete your pin because somebody griped about it and filed what's called a DMCA action, which all that means is they want their image removed. If that happens too often, it is possible for an account to get suspended. But again, if you're using a plugin like Social Monetize Me, that's never an issue because the images are all sanctioned by Amazon. And the last piece of advice I would give to people, whether they're pinning manually or whether they're using a tool like Social Multiplier, you only want to pin to your site from one account until that account, that site, I should say, is very established in Pinterest. And by established, I mean my experience has shown if that account pins pins to that site a couple of hundred times a day for about 30 days, and if at the end of that 30 days that one account has at least a few thousand followers, which is very normal with Social Multiplier, it's usually safe at that point to add additional accounts that pin to the same domain. And that's what I do. That's how I've gotten millions of visitors from Pinterest to my sites. But you have to wait long enough for the site to be established. If you take a site that's never been pinned before and create five accounts and all five accounts are pinning to that one site, Pinterest is going to suspend all those accounts and it's going to block that site so you can't pin to it anymore. So in that sense, you do need to be conservative. One account per site, at least for 30 days, at least until that account has a few thousand followers. Once you get to that point, it's no holds barred. At least that's been my experience. But I've never built more than four or five accounts. 
I think I have one site that has seven accounts that pin to it. But I waited until the site was very much established. And now that site enjoys an enormous amount of traffic from Pinterest. And it's got hundreds of thousands of repins from all the followers and all the viral action. But again, I'm running through this stuff quickly, but it's all covered in the getting started guide that comes with social multiplier. So if anything's flying over your head or going too quickly, don't worry. You can take your time and read the guide and it tells you all about everything that I've said and gives you more detail. But those are the basics. Start off conservatively, continue to build. Once a site's established in Pinterest and you can add additional accounts, and my personal recommendation is start in one market, get that site profitable, and then reinvest what you're making to build additional sites that you also add to social multiplier and get those sites profitable. That's what I did. It doesn't happen overnight, although you usually see traffic very quickly, like Eamon showed you his own site, 400, 300, 200 visitors a day in just a matter of a couple of days. That's not uncommon. Unlike Kimberly, who gave us a testimonial, 500 visitors a day in the first week. Not uncommon. It depends on the market that you're in how quickly that starts to happen. But once it happens, it happens fast. And then after one month, two months, three months, you have a very good chance of your site going viral. And that's how I ended up with the millions of visitors that I've gotten. And the one million visitors I got in 19 days. One of my sites in the weight loss market, one of the accounts pinned some pins, it just went crazy. And after they went crazy the first time and got tens of thousands of repins, those repins got repinned by other accounts and it just built and built and built and snowballed until 1 million visitors and about $13,000 later, you know, I'm in hog heaven with Pinterest. <laughs> I love it. That's why it works. You know, it's that viral social snowball effect that I've never seen anywhere else. I mean, you can get traffic from Facebook. You might get a flood of traffic from Facebook, but Facebook traffic is not buyer traffic. They're interested in kitten videos and dancing babies. They're not thinking about buying stuff. Shopify did a survey, and I quote from this all the time, in 2015, that shows that 93% of Pinterest visitors are on Pinterest researching what they want to buy. Maybe 3% of Facebook people are on Facebook or Twitter researching what they want to buy, but Pinterest is a retailer's dream because everybody there is looking for the stuff they want to buy, and that's what makes the traffic so high quality. I know it's high quality because Google, my, again, RPM, which the revenue per 1,000 visitors, just spiked when I started building traffic from social multiplier. Google's very smart. They figure out, okay, well, how much of this guy's traffic is converting into buyers for our AdWords advertisers when they click on the AdSense ads? The more buyers you have coming to your site, the more Google will pay you for the ads you're showing. And I have one site, no joke, typically earns $20 to $30 RPM just from AdSense. That's about 30 times the normal amount because people from Pinterest are looking to buy. So those are my general purpose how-to uh, tips for social multiplier and they're for Pinterest and they're all covered in the getting started guide that comes with social multiplier which I'm showing on screen at the moment, John. So within the software itself, the first tab here is the full getting started guide. And honestly, it's worth your time reading it carefully. I mean, one thing John said, which is, you know, 30 days or thereabouts afterwards, you can start ramping things up. If you're not sure, I have a very simple philosophy in life. If you don't know, take it slow because that way you'll have more sustainability. If you go in really fast and you've made a mistake, well, you might burn that account. Now, John knows what he's doing. He's done lots of testing. So he's got a good sense of 
how far he can push things, he's got a ton of experience for that. For you coming into this new, you won't have that experience necessarily for some time. So my personal advice is slightly different from John's. If you're not 100% certain, just take it a bit slower because if it takes you an extra three weeks or five weeks or six weeks to start building lots of traffic, really, honestly, who cares? Because right now, if you're not getting that traffic anyway, you're no worse off than you are to begin with. If you build it steadily and you have the benefit of it, you are better off. If you build it fast and burn it, you're back to square one. In fact, worse than square one. So speed is not always the best thing to look for. Sometimes just being a little bit more cautious, as, I, as John said, I'm very conservative, but uh, and I don't have the same experience as he does because I haven't tested this thousands of times. Uh, I'm testing it very carefully at the moment, and I'm seeing it great. By the way, John, did you say uh, $1? RPM is about average on AdSense. Yeah, one dollar is pretty typical, uh, oh. but my my typical is five to seven dollars, and I've got a site that's as high as twenty to thirty, depending on the day. Well, I'll tell you, my D-index site, because I checked the figures today, <laughs> at just under a five dollar RPM. Now that's a D-indexed site, and that that's yeah. crazy. Now keep in mind, keep in mind that twenty to thirty dollars. That's just AdSense. I also have Amazon ads on that site, thanks to your awesome plugin, and that adds an additional three to five hundred dollars a month to what the site's earning. So that I don't, I don't know what the RPM actually equates out to, but it's over thirty dollars. Yeah, I think we've got to take some questions, John, because we promised people we would, and there are just so many on, on the um, screen here. So I'm, I'm going to try and uh, put some to you as we, we scroll back and, and try to find them. So please bear with me. Uh, a little bit, people, because I've got to uh, find these. There are just so many scrolls so fast. So, um, although you're pinning to the, uh, you know, to Pinterest, what actually gets you the traffic? So that I think we've answered that earlier. People clicking through those images get directed to your site. Jeff yeah, has a question. Just to make yeah. it clear. When you see a bunch of pins on Pinterest, if you click on the pin, it opens it in a bigger window, so you can see a bigger version of the image. If someone clicks that image, it will take you take them to your site. Or there's a button underneath that says Visit Site, and they can click that, and it will take them to the site. Most people click the image. My experience has been virtually nobody clicks the link that's actually in the description. So don't worry too much about that. People will click those images to go to your site. People will click that button to go to your site. Um, shall I actually show some? I think that might be useful. So if I go into yeah, in here. fact, go ahead and show them the jewelry account. So, yeah, because I want people to see how many followers and pins. This is all on autopilot. You think I sat there and pinned 110,000 times to this account? Of course not. And it's got 41,000 followers. With that many, in fact, if you, I believe it's with jewelry. If you search Pinterest for jewelry and look for accounts, my fine jewelry account comes up in the top ten. Yeah, I'm so, not logged in. Yeah, them, so yeah, lots and lots of pins, lots and lots of followers. Now it's going to make you log in in order to see the details. Yeah, That's one of the ways. Well, we can show these. Well, 150 million users. You gotta log in to see the details. Yeah, but I think the important thing to note is look at how many pins, look at how many followers. Again, people, a lot of people have the misconception that Pinterest is only for women. This is about woodworking, and you know I'm all about girl power. I've got a five-year-old girl. I want her to grow up to do whatever she wants, and if she wants to be a carpenter, I'm all for it. But we all know that most people who are interested in woodworking are probably men. Look at how many followers. 66,000 followers, 50,000 pins, all on autopilot. And this is one of our top performing sites. So that just goes to show you that Pinterest is good for men too. In fact, the largest, fastest growing demographic in Pinterest is men. Because women have known about it for a long time, but men are just now catching up, as it usually takes men longer to catch up. <laughs> Sorry, guys. And <laughs> They are, it's growing. It's growing fast with men being the largest demographic we're catching on. So don't worry if what you're targeting is all about men. They're on Pinterest too now. 
Chris has a good question, John, which uh, is one of the fears that people have. Is this almost a bait and switch? Because when people come to your site looking for that pinned item, they may not find it. Well, I've had a, a couple of people ask me that, and I saw a really good description about that. People ask, first of all, if you're worried about that, we'll just use Amon's plugin, and that will always make sure the image is on the page. I don't worry about that because I know that the people who are clicking on the image, it's not that they care so much about the image because they're already looking at it. Why would they go to your page to look at the image that they've already seen? They're going to see the same image. They're interested in the subject. They're interested in the topic. And if they like the image, they probably think it comes from a site that is pretty awesome about the subject. So make sure that the site that they land on is great, is high quality. And if they get there and they're like, hey, this site is great, they might opt in to your email list. They might click on an ad. They might buy what you're offering, and you might end up with $16,000 in 30 days. Think about that. They've already seen the image. Do you really think they're clicking through to see the image again? Yeah, when you look at the behavior of people, if they're interested in a particular niche. So my example was cameras because I'm kind of into those. If I clicked the Nikon or Nikon and saw a different one, I'd be in, oh, let me have a look at that. You know, I would, I'd kind of be drawn in because I'm interested in those things. If you were into woodworking and you suddenly see a cabinet instead of a seat, oh, let me have a look at that. Where are the plans for this and so on? Yeah, I, I think it, because you're targeting a particular interest group, they're generally interested in in that entire niche, aren't they, that topic? I, yeah, uh, I really think they just want to see, well, what else does this person have to offer? Yeah. And I know that's true because I've gotten 21,000 subscribers from Pinterest visitors. I've gotten all these people on my email list, all these people buying the products that I've offered on the sites. If all they cared about was that image, nobody would opt in nobody would buy anything. They would just click back and go back to Pinterest and be irritated. And I'm sure there might be some of those people, but not the majority. We've got a question from Susie, which is, I think, quite a good one. What type of site should you have? Should it be a full e-commerce site? It does not have to be, no. Like, if you go to wooddesigner.net, you'll see it's not an e-commerce site at all. It's an informational site. Yes, we offer some woodworkers' plans, and yes, we have AdSense on the site, but it's mostly informational. It does not have to be an e-commerce site. So, uh, you've already answered this, John, but if you could answer it for the audience, please, because you did it uh, privately. Liz was asking, if we have different hosted websites, and they're on different hosting accounts, can we send pins to each one of them if we create different Pinterest accounts? I think you should, and I think that's how you should do it. One account per site. I personally use a proxy for every site just because I feel like, and maybe I'm wrong, I don't know this from testing, but I feel like if you've got too many, too many accounts pinning from the same IP address, that that would throw a red flag with Pinterest. But I do know that Pinterest lets you have lots of business accounts. So it may not, but I personally always make sure each account pins from a different IP address to each different website. Yeah. So it's it's just being cautious and safe, yeah, which makes a lot of sense. Um, Jeff was asking, how do we get so many photos of the same product? Okay, I don't understand that question. Well, I think he was saying if you're pinning hundreds and hundreds of images a day, where do they come from? Well, one place they come from is your plugin. They come from Amazon. Yep. Amazon has so many products that it makes it so easy to get thousands of images. The other op option is to let uh, Social Multiplier repin very popular images that other people have pinned. So if you just put keywords and don't load up your own set of images using your plugin, then Social Multiplier will go search for popular images and use those images in the pins. Well, Peter's got a follow-up question that leads in directly from that particular answer. He's a little bit worried about junk images being pinned in that case, um, and he wonders if you've tested it, and if you have, is it a problem? It's never been a problem, and the reason why is because 
Social Multiplier only pulls the top 1,000 images at most, at most, that match any keywords. Now keep in mind, millions of images per day are added to Pinterest. So the top 1,000 is, is like the cream of the crop for any keywords. So the odds of getting an image that's a junky image showing up in the top 1,000 for virtually any keyword is pretty small. If you're really worried about that, you could always go you know, monitor your account and just delete anything you don't like. Or you could use Heyman's wonderful plugin, Social Mon uh, Monetize Me, and make sure that the images all come from Amazon, and you can pick which images you want to pin in that case. Uh, Scott is asking, is this software cloud-based? Good question. It is not cloud-based, but it does run on a Windows machine or a Macintosh computer. It'll run on either one. I rather like it on my MacBook Pro. I think it's a little prettier, but it really doesn't matter. It functions exactly the same way. And a lot of people ask, well, do I have to run on my laptop or my computer? Is it going to hog up my resources? Blah, blah, blah. No, you don't. You can get a relatively inexpensive VPS, a virtual private server, that runs Windows Server. I recommend either Windows Server 2012 or 2016. And you could just run it on there. You don't even have to use it on your computer. Because if you have a laptop and you travel with it or whatever, and you get disconnected sometimes, just run it on a VPS. That's what I do. I keep it running on a VPS because I work off my MacBook, and I don't want to have to keep my MacBook on all the time. And those VPS accounts that you have, you're running multiple Pinterest accounts through a single instance of Social Multiplier? Yes, yes. At least half a dozen uh, per VPS, and I use cheap VPSs. My cheapest VPS is costing me 10 bucks a month, and it'll run a bunch of accounts. And I've got one that's more expensive, but it's kind of a waste of money, and I really ought to downgrade it. Uh, and it's running seven or eight accounts itself. So yeah, a good VPS will run lots of accounts. But by the time you you have that many accounts, you're making you should be if you're doing things right. You should be making enough money that if you're wasting an extra 20 bucks on a VPS, you really don't care anymore. Yeah. And that's the case for me. Well, that's true. We've got a few people asking the same question, John, and it's a really good question because they're thinking ahead. I hope they take things steady, but they're thinking ahead. Can they use Social Multiplier on more than one computer if they have a couple of old laptops lying around or that kind of a thing? You can. Uh, I would recommend, again, to use proxies. That's my personal recommendation. I wouldn't run more than two, maybe three accounts on the same IP. I mean, Pinterest understands that more than one person in a household might have an account, so you could probably, and I have personally run two accounts off the same IP with no problems. But once you get over that, I just feel like you need to use a proxy so that Pinterest, to Pinterest it looks like your accounts are pinning from different places. Yeah. But that's just me. Maybe I'm being overly conservative, but my personal experience is you definitely want to use proxies uh, if you're running multiple accounts. And they're so cheap anyway. Again, it's once you get to that point where you're running that many accounts, you should be making enough money that spending $2 on a proxy isn't a big deal. Now, I'm going to uh, answer the question that the people were asking because John's technical. He's a very clever guy. So that those of you who are asking that question, yes, you are allowed to install this on as many machines as you like. Oh, yeah. As long as you're using it for your own personal use and not letting somebody else use it, yeah. yeah. I mean, you can run it on as many VPSs as you want. You can run it on as many computers as you want. We don't care about that. And, in fact, that's, as long that's, how, you, you, that's how you get the power. Because if you run a single instance, that you know, it's not as powerful as doing multiple. We do have a question which I think is an important one. Is it safe to start a single Pinterest account without a proxy and then use proxies for future accounts? Yes, and I actually, that's how I started. My first, the fine jewelry account that you saw, that one was running on my personal IP for months uh, before I finally went to a VPS and just switched it over to a proxy. But you do have to be careful because if you go from using an IP, like your personal home laptop IP, let's say you take that account and move it over to a proxy or move it onto a VPS or something that's got a different IP, Pinterest might, and I say might because it doesn't always happen, they might 
put your account into quote safe mode. All that means is you have to go in and change your password to ver because they think something strange is happening. Why did your IP suddenly change? Yeah. So you go and change I your moved. password and verify, yeah. yes, it's still me, we're yeah. cool, don't worry about it. Not usually a problem. We've got about 100 people asking the same question. I'll answer it right now. Um, John will give you a recommendation later, not today, but it, it, when you, you know, within the um, download email for VPS recommendations. A lot of people asking about which servers you rec recommend. Um, let's have a look. There's, here's the truth, though, Eamon. There's so many good ones out there. Yeah. There's just so many. If it's well rated and people say good things about it, it doesn't really matter which one you use. Just as long as it's got good ratings and they can run either Windows 2012 or Windows 2016. If you can get it, 2016 is great because it's super efficient. So you can run a lot of accounts on really cheap VPS. Well, so if you can find 2016, awesome. But 2012 works great too. Yeah. Now we've got a question here which um it's scrolling so fast it's gone past. It's a good one. I like this one. Can I use this for a content-based site which just has articles? So not images, I think, is what the um, Arsalan is asking. Yes, you can. And in fact, I do that. Uh, I have a, my weight loss site that went super viral and got 700,000 visitors in the last 30 days. That is a content-based site. Uh, it's got an opt-in box that pops up, and I strongly suggest you build an email list because if Pinterest disappears tomorrow, you've still got all those people on your email list that you can promote to. Yeah. And my bottom line is a lot higher because I have follow-up emails that go out to the people who opt in and they buy the products. Definitely use an opt-in list. But use a pop-up box. Even if they annoy you, don't think about that. Think about the fact that the conversion rate of a pop-up box is so much better. You're going to get a lot that. more people on your email list if you make sure you have a good pop-up box. And make sure that it's mobile friendly. Like the one you see here, if you go to, on, to this site on a mobile, it, it fills your mobile screen just so. And just right. You can still close it if you want to, so you're not too irritated if you don't like it. But it really encourages people to opt in. They can't resist. The conversion rate on this site is outstandingly good. Now we've so run... get that pop-up box on there, and it's definitely going to help you bottom. We've done the usual, John. We've gone way over time. So I'm just going to let people know at this stage. Um, if you've got some more questions, uh, we'll, we'll try to answer them uh, later for you. But Social Multiplier is launching on Monday, October the 24th. So that's next Monday. Uh, we've actually... <laughs> We've actually got some people who are a bit annoyed, John, because I think they thought it was going to be a, a sale webinar um, and saying, why are you taking so long to tell us the price? Um, so <laughs> can, can, can I tell them what the price is for Monday? Or, um, yeah, that's just not fine. I, don't, I, don't, I really don't mind people knowing. I really don't. It's not like it's a secret. Okay. So there's going to be uh, three versions. So you can get it monthly, and that's $97 a month. So you just renew monthly when you're using it. You can get an annual version. Now, that, of course, is going to be better pricing because that's $297 for the year. So that's 20, It's about $25 a month, but paid annually. The best version is the lifetime version. That's a one-time payment, and you get the bonus of the Social Monetize Me plugin. By the way, uh, we didn't mention, but that will allow you to install that plugin on up to 500 different domains. So you don't have to use it just for Pinterest. You can use it on other niche sites that you make. 500 domains is a lot of domains. We're also going to be giving you a couple of, for those who get the lifetime one, we're going to be giving you two webinars. One is how to use PLR with Monetize Me, Social Monetize Me, and Social Multiplier, because putting content on your site is a good thing in and of itself. So you should anyway. We're going to show you how. Uh, we're also going to do a private webinar for those who got the lifetime deal of how to optimize Social Monetize Me because there are so many options in there. When you first look at it, it's going to blow your mind because you can do so many different things. We had a question, can you use this for other networks, ClickBank, Share a Sale, and so on. Anything oh, yes. an affiliate oh. link, you can monetize on your blog with Social Monetize Me. Uh, and so, yes, is the answer to that question. And with a 500 domain license, and that would normally cost you $300 on its own, by the way. With a 500 domain license, you've got a lot of leeway. So even if you've got multiple niches, you can sort of 
uh, make each of those sites specific to a particular niche or even a sub niche if you want to get really uh, you know very focused on something uh, because you've got all different kinds of jewelry you've got gold silver men's women wedding uh, engagement uh, you know all sorts so you can you can really narrow down the niche and be very specific which means the people who end up at your site are really super targeted and John, if you could just explain to people for me, if they're super targeted, what's the end result? What would actually tend to happen? You get a higher conversion rate. Whether you're talking about the number of people who opt in or the number of people who buy, the number of the people who click on the ads, your conversion rate goes way, way up. And also, in the case of Google AdSense, your, the revenue that they're willing to pay you per visitor goes way up because it's so targeted. Uh, I got a couple of questions. I gotta, say, I gotta say something, Aaron. I gotta tell you something. Um, while you're talking, I'm flipping through all the questions. I've just seen one now. Uh, all of this, and we can't order it. Irritated a lot of people. Man, I want irritated a lot because everybody's like, "What? We can't buy this." And the worst one is, and I'm sorry, Jennifer, pot pie girl, is annoyed that she can't buy this today. I do not want to annoy Jennifer. Well, we're not, we're not ready, I'm sorry, but you know, I have a couple of things to finish. Um, a lot of people asking about the lifetime. That's $597 one-time purchase. Okay, wait, wait, maybe, okay, it's not ready. It's not, it's not really ready, but most of it's ready. Uh, you think maybe we could, at least a lifetime version, that's ready. You think we um, Keith, oh, look, Keith, <laughs> Keith, have you seen what Keith has just said? That's funny. No. Oh, I'm sorry, I, I, I can't. I'm sorry, that's so funny. Um, take my money. <laughs> you know, that's really funny. But um, oh, the only thing yeah. I would say, John, I mean, we, I, I know people want, want this, particularly the Lifetime one. Um, Monetize Me has got a couple of extra features being uh, developed over the weekend, ready for next week. So, I mean, even if you let people in, and I know there were problems with Zaxa earlier, um, they'd have to wait. Well, let, let Although social multiplier is ready, I know, because we're, we're using it. But um, would it be, the, the sales page isn't actually active. Would it take much if we did it just for an hour while we're on? I, get it no. working? Because I can't how about this? Why, don't, why don't you take people to the sales page and show them some of the stats and stuff, and give me a minute, let me go see if I can get, the order page functioning at least for the lifetime. Now the process where you buy and it, it, it gives you, you know, access to the software, all that's already done. That's done and ready to go. The only thing is, and I want people to know this, we have a one time <laughs> oh that's so funny. Now, 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 I, now. I'm reading all yeah. It's it's uh, scrolling you, so, so fast. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. Okay. The only thing is you're gonna see an offer if you choose to buy now. A one-time offer for an authority site that is a very high quality site that is I've had great success with all 12 of the sites I'm currently promoting in uh, Pinterest are these authority sites from our niche jet product line it's going to show you that but that's not set up for the automatic purchase now. You can buy it now, but we'll have to manually go through and fulfill that order tomorrow. So yeah. if you want that, absolutely get it, but it won't be automatic. It won't take you to the page where you fill out the details of the kind of site you want and all that. We'll just have to reach out to you through email. So if you're cool with that, we're fine. But go ahead and show people the stats. Give me just a minute. Let me see if I can get the lifetime. I'll show these statistics because they're, they're pretty interesting in themselves. This is kind of the page we're going to be getting ready. But um, when you look at these numbers, they are almost impossible to believe. Now, here, look at this one. 17 days, 308,472 visitors. Wow. Uh, I mean, that's, you know, look, look at these numbers. They're just ridiculous, aren't they? And bear in mind, I've got to emphasize this, John built up slowly. He didn't do this overnight. It took him a couple of months to build his accounts safely. So, you know, please don't buy this lifetime version, then do 5,000 pins tomorrow. You, you'll just burn your accounts. Take it steady. Here's another one. Uh, this was a bit longer, so you can see it took a bit longer to, to build. From zero visitors to, well, nearly half a million in three months. July 14th, 
to October 14. And you can see what's happening. There's nothing, 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 nothing. It starts to build, build, build. And then look at this. And then on one day, there were 38,000 visitors. Uh, sorry, 32,000 visitors. January 1st to October 14th, half a million visitors there. Look at that straight line, up and up and up. So this is something that keeps growing. 536,945 sessions. How about this in one month? And, and this is from Pinterest. You can see the numbers here. Um, I'm surprised you put that in there, John, because it shows the actual pins. But anyway, so 1st of September to the 30th of September, 40,877. Now, those numbers are kind of impressive, but there is another number on this page that I think is very impressive. Okay, and that's this. Six pages per visit. These visitors are looking round. I don't know if you know what that means, but it means you're going to get, you know, more chances to get them to click a link that makes you money. Because if they're looking at six pages, there's something on your site that they're interested in. And you can see how it grows there. I mean, look, when, when he started, 600. So that's a little bit higher than the uh, example of mine that I showed you. But can you see how it grows? And as it develops and matures, a Pinterest account is safer to, um, you know, to speed up. But do be careful about that, please. It's extremely important, as John has explained. 5,500 email subscribers in 30 days. I mean, I know people who would kill for that many subscribers in a year. Uh, let's have a look. 621, we showed this one on the actual webinar, in one day. And somebody did ask, why did 41 unsubscribe? Well, I don't know, is the honest answer. And uh, if I can be really blunt about it, I don't care because subscribers do that. You'll get a certain number who subscribe and a few of them will unsubscribe. If the number who are subscribing every day is higher than the ones who are leaving, then you have a growth and your list is becoming more valuable every single day. It's the net positive increase that counts. Does that make sense for everyone? So if you lose a few subscribers, that's normal. You send an email, subscribers leave. A few of them anyway, a small percentage. And you can see that's a very small number. Now, as John says there, we're not actually allowed on sales pages to show you specific uh, income claims, but I can, t I can tell you the, the amount of money John's making Doing this the right way carefully is substantial, but there's something quite funny, and I'm going to get John, when he's not busy, I'm going to get him to admit this, because I think this is absolutely ridiculous. It's so funny. John, if you've got time, I know you're busy trying to make a sales page work, could you just admit to the audience how long it took you before you started monetizing these, because you didn't believe this, these figures? Oh, don't make me say that. <laughs> well, you did last time. You admitted it last time, so... Yeah, it took me almost a year. My brother had set up, because he, he's a woodworker by trade before he started to work for me. He set up the wood designer site, and he was getting tons of traffic from Pinterest. You can imagine, you know, he was making a couple of hundred bucks a month in AdSense. I finally said, well, let me take this seriously, and sat down and looked at it and saw it, because, you know, he's a, he was a woodworker. He wasn't a marketer. Mm -hmm. Saw all the things he was doing wrong and fixed them, and that couple of hundred bucks a month turned into $3,000 a month, and then I was kicking myself because I had <laughs> missed out on 50 grand that I could have had over the past year. Yeah, it was Man. it was weird. I'm almost done. Okay. I can, I can get the lifetime option to work now. Yeah. So anyone who's interested in the lifetime option, which honestly, that's the one you should go for anyway, because it comes with monet, social monetize me. It comes with a chock load of bonuses, and you only pay for it once and never again. So once you, you get all the upgrades for free, you will never pay for it again, and all the social multiplier one, people can tell you that's true. Uh, so that's... That is just about ready. Give me just a minute. Keep showing them the... Look the at that. In 19 and... days, $7,989.71. 1,020,529 page views. I mean, these figures are absolutely ridiculous. Um, we've got a couple of questions from people, John, which I, I think we, we need to uh, clarify. Social Monetize Me is newly developed. It's to go with Social Multiplier. It is only available as a bonus if you get the lifetime version. If you get the lifetime version, you get Social Monetize Me. You get the two private webinars. There is another bonus, which I haven't got ready yet. 
I was going to show it next week, but you will get that as well if you get the lifetime version uh, for creating video sales pages, video opt-in pages, and video uh, review pages. It's a simple little thing, but it's very cool. Uh, so you will get that, but they're not going to be ready till next week. And that is only for the lifetime version. If you had an older version of Monetize Me, uh, you, you're not getting this particular version automatically. It's a different one altogether. Uh, so you, you get this. It, it's kind of an exclusive that goes with Social Multiplier 2 lifetime version only. Um, so let's have a look at some more figures. Now, the weight loss, you were saying, I think, um, something like, with the figures, 200,000 or 240,000 searches a month, according to Google. But you actually got, on, on one of your sites, um, more than that in, in a week or something ridiculous, wasn't it? Um, just, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah 308,000 visitors. Oh, just dropped my uh, microphone. 308,000 visitors in 17 days when, according to Google, only 200-odd thousand people search for that term. So that's actually better traffic than you can get from Google. So these numbers and really if do... If you're number one in Google, you're not really number one in Google because no. who's really number one through number four, if you search for weight loss, are the ads. So you're actually number five, and statistically, you're only going to get 5% of the search traffic if you're number five. So yeah, you're definitely better off with Pinterest and those kinds of markets. Now the lifetime, lifetime uh, version is ready. Here, I'm going to send you, Eamon, that link, and you can get it to everybody uh, oh, okay, else because yeah. you you know uh, how to do I that. I can copy and paste so it. There it is. I just I just sent it to you. Only the lifetime works, but I'm, lifetime is the version you want because that's the one. Oh, I've got it. I've seen it now. So I'm going to show it's the page. The only one, yeah, it's the only one where you get uh, social monetize me. And I will say this, now it's up to PayPal, because this goes through PayPal, it's up to PayPal. Just... If they offer you PayPal credit, you can pay for it over a six-month term rather than having to pay for it all at once. But that's up to PayPal whether or not they offer that to you. I know it's available to people in the U.S. I'm not sure about outside of the U.S. I see it all the time when um, I buy things through PayPal. I, I don't think so, they do have it over here, but let's just see. Okay. So in but the chat in the box, US. we have the link yeah. for the... Is this a live page now, John? Yes, it's now live. It, it's functional. But so, I'm only going to leave this up for until about an hour after the webinar is over. After that, I'm going to pull it because we still have some things to polish and fix and, you know, get oh, going. We have lots yeah. of bonuses included. Yeah. Ebook cover software, a massive pack of... Uh, royalty-free images, and of course the monetize, social monetize me plugin, which is awesome. And the, uh, what's the other software that you were, get, the video software? Uh, it's actually a way of creating uh, video pages, uh, which you, you can video. put on your site very easily. It's quite nice. It's, you know, people may not want to do video pages, but um, if you create a little video to go with content that's relevant, so, for example, I had this thing where um, one of the pages was, there we go, this, this kind of thing here. I'm promoting his uh, particular product. If I could do a little video saying why I think it's a good product, it just helps with the conversions because it gives a bit more legitimacy. Rich Media, as you know, is a fantastic resource to have on any blog. Uh, and if I can embed that easily and make it easily, then it just means I can raise the quality of that page and raise the quality of the conversions that I get, which helps to create that revenue stream such as we're seeing with you. So, you know, if you can do things easily and improve your site, you should do. Um, and so what we've done is look for tools and systems that will make it easier for you to do more of the good stuff. Okay, because if it's difficult to do, we know people don't have time. But if it's really simple to do, you can do lots of it. And that's when you start to see these snowball effects because you're putting out good quality stuff now. And uh, John emphasized that over and over earlier. It really is important. The more quality you can add on there, the better. Because this is very obvious, but let me state it out loud, just in case uh, people haven't got it. Pinterest is going to send real people to your website who are really interested in a particular topic. If they land on your site and it's pure junk, guess what they're going to do? They're going to walk away. If they land on your site and they're interested, you're going to keep them around. You saw one of the statistics where John was getting people looking at six pages on his site. That means they're interested. 
and the longer they stay on your site the more chance you have of that click the valuable click that earns you some money so you do that by giving them something worth sticking around for and if we can help you to do that with tools that make it efficient and quick and simple then hopefully you will use them to do exactly that does that make sense to everyone um, and let's just see will there be a replay yeah there will be I've uh, got a couple of questions uh, is social monetize me available separately no it isn't uh, it is not we've, we've made this specially um, for social multiplier will there be a replay yes uh, is there oh, okay I'll answer that one um, Falco is starting a week earlier than expected thank you for early access and that's a good point if you start a week earlier you'll start your growth a week earlier so you know everything will build yeah, sooner. I think, if I think about that remember Kimberly at the very beginning 500, 500 visitors a day she was getting in the first week so if you go a week early for her that's 3,500 visitors that she wouldn't you, know, you wouldn't get if you yep. didn't start early so yeah now's the time don't, don't waste it yeah but like we've said earlier and John mentioned you know be, be careful don't burn your accounts do it steady you know don't do five million pins a day you know, build it slowly, because um, whenever you start, that's your starting point, and it will build. Okay, if you do it right, it will build. Read the Getting Started Guide that's on the software itself. It's right in front of you every time you log in. Um, so and it says in bright red and yellow, read this first. So as soon as you log into the software, it's read this first. Just take a few minutes, go through that document. It's going to tell you all about how everything works. And for how to set it up, on the help tab, if you'll show people that, Eamon, there's a link to the configuration guide. It takes you step by step through every single aspect of setting it up. So, And if none of that works, we have a help desk. We can help you out. There's a forum we can help you out. There's all kinds of ways to make sure that you get the most out of the software. Two questions I would like you to answer, John. One is, how long yes. is this lifetime offer available? The software period, including the lifetime offer, is only available through Friday. It officially opens Monday. I, just, I didn't yeah. expect for us to make this happen tonight. I, I think we're not. Friday, midnight Friday, PSC, that's it. It's gone. Yeah. We're going to pull it because we don't want too many people to get a hold of it, uh, but quite frankly, because I use it too. Yeah. And, you know, I, I don't want too much competition for myself, and I'm doing really well with Pinterest. In fact, and admit this, Eamon, you and my affiliate manager, Josh Spalding, who a lot of people on here probably know, you both asked me not to sell the software. <laughs> don't sell yeah. it. Keep it to ourselves I'll, because we're doing so well with it. I, I'm, so, I've got to tell you, yeah, John's right. We, the, the heated email exchanges back and forth. Well, let's keep this to ourselves. This is too good to share. We've got to make and, the most. And, and John was like, well, you know, hang on. Now. I, yeah. I thought about it. I really thought about it, but I had already told people it was coming. So I'm like, no, we already said we were going to do it, so let's go ahead and do it. But I will say this. If we see a ton of orders coming in, and I already see a lot coming in just from tonight, I will stop it early because I don't want too many people to get a hold of it and to dilute it too much because we use it ourselves. And I don't want the people who do buy to end up with too much competition from everybody else. So I would get in right now because I will definitely close it down if too many people buy in. I really didn't expect the kind of reception that we're getting. No, I mean, the kind of yeah, pretty big. Seeing. There I is really one question you need to answer, John, because I think it's important for those who are confused about this. Social multiplier, so that's this piece of software which I'm showing now, okay, it's coming on screen, this one. Is this only usable for WordPress sites or can you use it for other types of site? You can use it for any site. Now, the, mo the social monetize me plugin is only for WordPress, but yeah. you can promote any kind of site using social multiplier. It, it does not have to be WordPress. Yeah. Uh, other instructions on the Amazon program, um, Len, that's actually, uh, I'm not sure if you mean how to use it. Yes, there are. Um, we're going to do a private webinar for the Lifetime Buyers to show you exactly how to use it and maximize it because it, we haven't shown you even a tenth of what it can do. I mean, honestly, you know, if we'd shown it, we'd be four hours. There's just so much to, uh, it does. 
The Social Multiplier works on Mac and Windows. Um, languages, uh, I don't know about pinning in different languages, John. I don't think it, we can do that, can we? Well, oh, it's not I a good, had it's one a good idea. We haven't tested, have game. we? But the, the majority, I've never tested it. The majority of traffic is coming from the U.S., so you've got to keep that in mind, English speaking. Yeah. So for the most part, English speaking. Yeah. I'll just quickly see if there's any other really major questions while people, are, there's a ton of people um, demanding that purchase link. I, I thought I'd put it in the uh, chat box for everybody, but some people must have missed it. Uh, yeah, I've been sending it to people as I go through yeah. the links directly. Yeah. It's in the chat box. And um, one question was, if we buy it tonight, can we start using it tonight? The answer is yes, but yes. please start yes. nice and steady. Because, yeah. you know... Read uh, the Getting Started Guide absolutely. first. Read the Getting Started Guide um, first. Oh, oh, this is one I don't know the answer to, John. Hopefully you will. A few people have asked this, and they um, keep repeating it because they, they want the answer. Can this be used with Shopify products? I don't know anything about it, so I can't answer. I guess you can, and the reason why is because, A, any site that has URLs, which is every site on the web, can be used, and it works great with Shopify because Shopify is the one who released that study that said that Pinterest traffic converted better than any other kind of social traffic at all. So oh. if you have a Shopify site, Pinterest works great, and Social Multiplier worked just fine with the Shopify site, no problem. So I've learned something there because I, I, I gave somebody the wrong answer. I said, I don't think so. I beg your pardon when I texted you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I was wrong. Um, Steve is asking, can we put the purchase link on screen because he's on his phone? Uh, yeah, it's learnfromjohn.com slash social multiplier. You see it's all one word slash index2 dash order dot HTML. I know it's a long, long, long um, uh, URL, but Sorry, John had to do that very quickly. Uh, Tom's asking a question, John, which I'd like you to answer. And I know the answer, but I think it would be better if you answer it. If they purchase the monthly one now, can they upgrade to lifetime later? No. This is only available this week. What you get this week is what you get forever. Yeah. So, well, they, they can upgrade if they did it before next Friday. Yes, some uh, well, between now and Friday. Yeah. So they basically that, people have a week, yeah, to make a decision. Uh, yes. Okay. Oh, wow, there's so many questions here. I'm sorry if we've missed your question. There, there are literally hundreds and hundreds of questions. They're scrolling so fast we can't actually keep up. Uh, and I do apologize if we've missed you. Um, it's just, you know, it's kind of... <laughs> um, Shopify, we've already answered. Uh, okay, somebody's, um, I'm not sure if this is something that's wrong, John, but they, they're saying that the niche jet site is, is showing, uh, the one-time offer is showing 127? Are we sure? Uh, no, I think someone went to look at the home page of niche jet thinking... Oh, that, the normal one, uh, yeah, 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 we're selling the authority site. Niche jet sites, there's the normal little blog site, and then there's the authority site, which comes with a lot more and is much higher quality that's the one that you want to use in Pinterest, and that's the one that we have on the one-time offer. Uh, Danny's asking a question. He's a little bit annoyed that we haven't answered his question earlier. I'm just scrolling back to try and find it, Danny, because the, the, this is scrolling so fast I can't find it. In fact, if you could type the question again, please, we'll try to answer it for you. But, I mean, there are literally hundreds upon hundreds of, of questions in the scrolling very, very fast. Just type it in again for me, please, uh, Danny, and then we'll see if we can answer it for you. Uh, we've never had this many questions before, John. It's very difficult, uh, very difficult to, to actually... Yeah, I know. I know they're flying, but I'm trying to type in answers as you talk, but it's, it's hard. Uh, minimum Windows that system that SM2 will work on, it doesn't work on uh, Vista, and I think it's Windows 7 and above. Is that right, John? Yes. And in fact, anything, my understanding is, though I've never tried it, Anything above Windows XP, anything that comes after XP, it will not run on XP. I've actually had people who ask me if it will. It will not run on XP. It will run on anything above XP, and it will run on Mac. Right. So any recent 
Mac or Windows version, whether it's the server or the personal or the professional or whatever version, yes, it will run. Yeah. If anybody has an issue, if you're not getting the software immediately, we will sort that out for you. It's going to be tomorrow, but um, one person said that happened. For the people who are asking, how do I get this plugin on its own, um, whether you have the previous version of Social Multiplier or not, the only way you can get this plugin is a bonus for the lifetime version of Social Multiplier. And you get all the other bonuses we mentioned as well. I mean, the full sales page on Monday will give you all that detail. Uh, we've only opened, well, I asked John to put the cart on because we, so many people wanted to do it now. Um, but, you know, if, you, if you're wanting Social Monetize Me, there's only one way to get it, which is the lifetime version of Social Multiplier. So we've got a few questions on that one, John. Um, one person is asking about um, using it for Amazon.de, which is Germany. And I'm not sure if he means Social Multiplier or Social Monetize Me. But Social, Moni uh, social Multiplier... This is really configured for US Pinterest accounts. Could you just explain that for us, John? Yes, right now, although I do plan on updating to work for the UK also, you need to have a USA-based Pinterest account. 80% of Pinterest accounts in traffic come from the US, so it makes sense to target the US anyway. If you're in the UK, if you're in Australia, if you're in Canada, if you're anywhere else that Pinterest does have a site, you need to use a US-based proxy when you create your account. All that is explained in the Getting Started Guide, but you need to use a US account at this time. Now, after the launch week is over, I intend to expand it to at least the UK also, but for now, you need a US-based account. And all that means is you need to create that account using a US proxy. Unless it's already a long-established account, in which case you just need a U.S. proxy uh, to plug into the account in Social Multiplier. And Social Monetize Me also works in the U.K., so you can, if you've got a U.K.-based uh, site, you can use it there. I've got a question. The question from Danny, uh, John, is, is a good one, really good one, and I think the answer will be yes, that's absolutely perfect for you. Um, so Danny's saying, basically, is, is Social Multiplier any use to me? Because I already have... 87,000 followers, but I'm not a marketer and I'm looking for a way to make money. Would Social Multiplier be useful for Danny with that kind of following on Pinterest? Oh, sure, I would think so. I would think it would take advantage of all of your users and start pinning pins at a rate that you just simply can't do yourself. Yeah, I would, I would definitely try that. But I'm also I'm very cautious about that sort of thing. I would start it slow and conservatively first yeah and after a while after it's ramped up for a while then slowly build an ad just to make sure that everything happens uh, in a nice conservative build for an account that's already long established and popular yeah uh, and with 87,000 followers I mean there's going to be a few of those clicking through anyway just on, on a random statistical oh, yeah. basis yeah. you're going to get people clicking yeah. uh, which is step one um, what niche you choose and so on. We, we can't give you personal guidance on that, Danny, which I think is one of the things you're asking for. Um, but the Getting Started Guide will give you guidance about niches and so on and, um, you know, what, what how to set up the accounts and so on. And if you choose any of the big ones, because somebody else was asking this, how can we find what's a good niche to go for? Have a look for that niche. Put the keyword in as a search into Pinterest. See how many people already have pins in that niche, how many people are active in that niche and if it's well uh, represented that's probably a good one to go for if nobody's pinning for a particular niche then nobody's interested I mean it's really it's that simple it's that simple uh, okay so I, I've got to scroll back to see if we've missed any important questions John because we could actually go for another four hours with this there are so many yeah uh, can we make, oh, well, this is impossible to answer properly, Joe, but can we make more money on Pinterest using Social Multiplier than we could with AdWords? How long is a piece of string? But I know that John has made yeah. more money than he ever did with AdWords. So Yes, absolutely. In fact, I, I found AdWords to be very, a very, very expensive way to get conversions. And using Pinterest through Social Multiplier is just far, far less expensive than the return on your investment is much greater. Well, your investment is, you know, 
clicking a few times so the investment is zero <laughs> I, you know the return on zero dollars if you get a hundred dollars back it's fantastic if you get a thousand back it's fantastic I mean you're not paying to do that pinning are you uh, well you're paying for the software but that's a one-time purchase if you get the lifetime deal so I don't know if I've missed any I'm going to apologize to everybody because we've run so far over time we're actually a full hour over time um, are there any questions you've seen, John, that you want to answer? Oh, I'm just I'm typing furiously to people yeah, for asking see, questions. Yeah. Uh, let me think if there's anything that kind of stands out. I'm having quite a few people. Uh, I had one person ask about hosting. With that much traffic, what kind of hosting do I use? I use a dedicated server, meaning it's just it's a server that only hosts my. Uh, my sites, they cost somewhere between three and five hundred dollars a month depending on the server, but you really don't have to worry about that until you start getting massive amounts of traffic. And by the time you're getting that kind of traffic, you can easily afford the host. Don't worry about that. I have a lot of people asking if the uh, monthly and annual will be available after next Friday. The answer is no. This is it. This nope. is your week. And quite frankly, the lifetime is the way to go because without it, you don't get Amon's social monetized me plugin, which is just phenomenal, and I use every day now. So those are the big ones. Uh, I have people asking about setting it up, but all that's covered in the guide. It's very yeah. easy to do. It's very easy to set up. We have a step-by-step -step walkthrough for configuring it. We have the getting started guide that tells you everything you need to know about how to use how to use it, what Pinterest expects, it explains what proxies are, it explains how to use those, it explains how to promote your site, it explains how many pins you should do every day, how many followers you should do every day. It really tells you how everything works. Can I just so tell people big... what the hardest part is of setting this up? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Finding your passwords. Yeah. I mean that seriously, because when I set it up, I had to go look for my passwords, because they're long passwords. <laughs> And it took me longer to find them than to set the thing up. I mean, literally, set up the entire thing 54 seconds. It took me five minutes to find the passwords. Uh, so I had to write them down. But I use very long passwords for security. Um, the, the setup is you type in your username. You type in your password. I'm going to show you. I'm not going to type in my details. I don't want you to see them. But look, you type in your username. You type in your email, your password. If you're using proxies, when you buy them, they'll give you some special numbers. You put those numbers in here, 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 and the password there, and then click that button that says update. That is it. That's it. So as long as you know your own username and email, and actually, you might be surprised how many times people forget those. <laughs> Seriously. As long as you know those details, setup is an absolute snap absolute snap now just to answer the, the 50 questions I've just seen the only way anybody's getting these bonuses is if you buy the lifetime version of this social multiplier okay if you've got anything else no the bonuses the social monetize me plugin they're only available for the lifetime option which you can get at the moment it's on screen you can see how to get that here this is the order URL which I'll put in the chat box one more time because uh, I know some people might have missed it so for anybody who was asking that, that's the answer. Uh, do the proxies have to be US only? Yes, they do. John, one or two people are saying, if we've got some more questions, how do we get them answered? Because obviously we can't go on for another four hours. Well, go to the forum. And there's a link to the forum in the software. Uh, if you don't, if you have questions before the sale, then go to the forum. Go to jlforums.com. Maybe you could take people there. Uh, and go to the social multiplier forum and ask your questions there sorry which one jail forums yes forums? jail forums yeah go ahead and just load it up so people can oh, see and i'll put it in the, the okay chat box so too. what we're doing is showing you oops let me just type that in properly jailforums.com social dash multiplier dash two is a dedicated forum for social multiplier you can see we have uh, john's put in a setup guide how to configure it the frequently asked questions um, you can download it from here, but it doesn't work unless you have a password, so you have to buy it to, to, down, you know, to use it. Um, and then some questions that people have asked, specific questions. But you can put a question in here, and we'll answer it for you. 
but you do have to register. So, you know, there's a button here for registering. Jail forums is open for you to read, but if you want to post a question, please register to get a username. Um, how do I open a US Pinterest account for a UK business? Um, I'm not sure if you can for a UK business. You'd have to uh, make it look like a US business. Is that right, John? I'm not sure there. The replay is going to be emailed out to everybody, by the way, automatically about an hour after we finish. So one thing I will say to everybody is uh, the editing of the video to clean it up. We're just going to do a quick edit to take off the beginning when we were showing you, you know, checking the audio. Uh, and so if there are any little bits of mistakes or whatever, they'll stay in the replay to save time. So you will get uh, a link for the replay approximately an hour or just after an hour after the webinar finishes. But I think, John, can I just check with you, the lifetime option that you've made available right now, because you've made the link live, are you closing that down in an hour? Do people have just yes. one hour? Yes, I'm going to turn that off in an hour so that we can finish getting everything polished okay. and ready for Monday. Right, okay. Um, okay, so anybody wanting to go to jail forums, you can see it on the page there. John's put it in the chat box as well. But you do have to register to submit a question. Okay. Uh, Leslie, do you have to have an official business to open a US Pinterest business account? Nope, you don't. Oh, John's already answered. Uh, a US hosting company is not okay for a US proxy, Susie, because if you're, if you're physically located elsewhere, you need the US proxy. Um, I think there might be an issue with posting on the forum, John, so you might need to look at that. If you can't post on the forum, don't worry, we'll get it fixed. You can always post tomorrow. Uh, and if you buy tonight, you should get the software tonight. But if you don't, don't worry, we'll, we'll sort it out tomorrow for you because we'll have a list of the people uh, who've bought. And, and if you haven't got it, we'll, we'll just make sure you get everything sent out. So I think um, unless there's any other questions you particularly want to answer, John, we, we, and, and, and do you want to keep going? We can. I don't mind if you want to. If there's any questions we haven't answered, that's fine. But uh, otherwise, if it's just repeat questions, people can watch the replay. Yeah, I think a lot of the questions now are the same as ones we've covered. So maybe people didn't quite hear them. So we, we're going over the old old ground. Stephen's asking a question we didn't mention. The authority site special offer, is that just for the next hour? Or would they be able to get it next week? No, that's going to be available throughout the week. OK. Cool. Excellent. Well, in that case, what I would like to say to everybody is uh, thank you. Thank you for joining us and staying over time. We tend to do this every time, but there's always so much information to share. Um, I would like to say thank you to everybody for bearing with us because I know there were a lot of questions. And if we didn't get to yours, I do apologize. It, it's impossible to do it without taking like six hours, you know. Uh, so, John, I'd like to hand over to you to close us out, if you would, please. All right. Well, thank you, everybody, for coming. We really packed the house tonight. There were lots of great questions. I think we showed everybody how easy it is to use the software and how amazing Eamon's Social Monetize Me plugin is. And remember, you've got one hour to get the lifetime version and get started tonight on building your Pinterest traffic. Otherwise, you're going to have to wait till Monday along with everybody else. So thanks for showing up. We appreciate everybody, and we look forward to seeing you all in the future.